Hello friends, welcome to my place. My name is Dave. Good to have you here. Today is going to be a tough one, but um, let's see. I was thinking about this. If you enjoy scary movie, let's say you've seen a very, very awesome scary movie and you really want to show your friends, say, come on, this is a good one. But it turns out your friends that are scared of scary movies and no way would they go with you. And you beg them and beg them and beg them, but they just will not go. You say, you're missing out. This is such a great movie. That's what I think about this one. Okay, except this is not like great, great, great. But this is a very, very good cheapie. You could pick this up for under $15, I think. And um, yeah, this is Zer Icon. Icon from the House of Zer. If you never heard of them, yeah. You know, you're, you're um, not be surprised. They don't have many fragrance. Probably only like four in their catalog. They only been doing it for a few years back then. They don't do, they don't make fragrance anymore. At least not under the same name, but um, this one is made by a very good nose, uh, Frank Vogel. He has done like over 100 fragrance under his name. So it's not a, a very throwaway cheapy. No, that's not what it is. Even though the price is so cheap, I guess, you know, nobody's know about them. And, um, you know, they're not one of the big names, but they're a cosmetic company that do skincare. As far as what does it smell like, I spread it on ready. And um, yes, I did a, I spread another one just for comparison. This is um, Zadig, Zadig and Voltaire. This is him. I think most people have heard about this. It's pretty hyped because it's so good. I spread it side by side. Yeah, both are incense heavy. Except uh, this is heavier on the incense. This is lighter on the incense. But I would say it's smoother. Okay, Icon is smoother. The Voltaire is going to have a very strong sweetness from the vanilla. While the Icon is going to be from cardamom and clove. Now, if you're a newbie, you don't know what clove smells like, good for you. Don't worry about it. But if you know something about clove and you worry about it because some fragrance you have experienced in the past that has strong clove that puts you off, don't worry. This is a nice type of clove. Do you know what? I should not say that. Okay, let me backtrack. <laughs> if you're a beginner and not used to fragrance, yeah, you're going to be like watching a scary movie. Uh, and that's not your thing. You'll be like that. You'll be seeing a scary movie. You'll be smelling a scary movie. Even though for me, it does not go that direction. It's not scary because the main notes is going to be incense. And I really, really enjoy incense. I basically use incense. I burn incense sticks almost every day. Different flavors. Um, the sandalwood flavor. There's a whole bunch of other flavors. Even like uh, like mango flavor. <laughs> but I like the sandalwood type of flavor the most. This is also one of those um, traditional type of incense. Yeah, that is the strong point. You're going to have, like I said, some cardamom, but then there's going to be ginger and uh, clove. Maybe some some um, cinnamon, vetiver in the background, a little bit of um, artemisia, some patchouli. But the ginger, the cardamom, the incense, and the clove is going to dominate, uh, mostly the incense. But you know what? As I'm comparing to this Zadir, Zadig and Voltaire for him, this is actually stronger. The dig is stronger in the incense notes. Um, I sprayed it, just one spray on my hand. Icon is for sure smoother, more easy, easier comparing to Zadig. And um, if you're okay with Zadig, for sure, Zerg Icon might be uh, not as strong for you. You might think, oh, this is a, this is a puppy. All right, comparing to uh, Zadig. With that said, it does have a freshness from the ginger, not too fresh. This is for sure a cold weather type of scent. Okay, and for sure, you gotta be either experienced with fragrance or else it doesn't matter what age you are, <laughs> you're gonna be um, taken aback, okay? But, you know, if you have some experienced fragrance, or if you're kind of um, saying, you know what, I'm, I'm, I have a lot of uh, experience with the modern sense. I want to try new things, right? You watch a lot of comedies, right? Watch a lot of, you know, a lot of the super Marvel, superhero Marvel movies. You thought, you know what, let me try scary movie. 
yeah, this will be for you. Even though once you experience, you will not think this is scary at all. For me, I sprayed it, I fell in love with it right away. Well, I did not have this one in the beginning of my fragrance journey. So, you know, with that said, I have more experience. Then I picked this up because I saw it for like, I, I think it was, I picked it up for like $12. Like, yeah, seriously, $12. For a, a, a real brand, this is not like, you know, trash brand. No, no, this is a real brand. Uh, you know, Zero, they, they do make other stuff. So, yeah, and also it's made by a, a known perfumer, Frank Vogel. So this is not a trash thing. Okay, this is a good stuff. It's just that nobody talked about it. And because it's hard to take. Now, um, I think some people was talking about there's some reformulation it might be different than before uh you never know you know what happens if a lot of time bottles i have myself some bottles uh, is put in the wrong place it got heated got cooled down got heated i put in the you know bathroom sink and it ruined a lot of my fragrances including my original agua de gio right from way back then and then uh, also my polo blue the original and also some other fragrances uh, you know, before I knew what was going on, it was ruined. I, when I smelled it, it smelled so bad. So when people were talking about this one smelling weird, I don't know if it's either they're not experienced with fragrance or it's just that that bottle is not good, all right? But to me, I picked this, this up about less than two years ago, and I love it. I mean, I absolutely love it. I, there's nothing weird about it. It's just incense-based. Maybe some people are not used to it. The sweetness from the cardamom is coming through very nice. The freshness from the ginger is really nice. The darkness from the clove is really nice. I have other clove scents, and um, some of them I can say is really hard to take. This one is about medium, okay, as far as the, the power, the projection of the, the clove, okay. But hey, if you want to experience scary movie, you know, try this. Even the bottle, they tell you, you know, <laughs> only the darker scent, yeah, scary. But with that said, who is this for? People with experience about fragrance. You want to try something else, something new? Go for it. This is, it was funny on, about this one. The sprayer, the atomizer is a little bit plasticky, all right? And in the beginning, when I sprayed it, for some reason, it leaked to the atomizer and then it got heated up and become sticky. And I thought it's because the rubber got burned and become, you know, sticky lice. Later I found out I just use wipes and clean it out and it's perfectly fine. So it's basically just residue on top of it. But in case you had that issue, just wipe it off because it's rubbery. Instead of like, basically all the other atomizer is plasticky instead of rubbery. So FYI, okay. the bottle is cool. I like it. I mean, you know, I, I should. Well, you know, if I don't have that many bottles in my collection, I'll, I'll pick up extra because that's how much I like it and that's how inexpensive it is. Like I said, under $15. You know, you could rock all night, all, all day, all night, every day. This is a great winter, uh, fall, or spring type of scent. Cool weather for sure. Yeah, I will not get away with this in the warm weather. Even for me, someone that likes to try different things um try frequencies in all type of weather even for me this one i cannot cannot vibe, i cannot jive with it so yeah but that's it i actually like it so i would say if you're more experienced i would give if your nose is more experienced i would give this a grade of 8.5 out of 10. if you're a newbie don't even think about it okay if newbie that you just cool with your modern sense you know, sweet, bubblegum, uh, blue, that's cool. If that's where you're at, that's your preference, good for you. Don't, don't, don't look for it. Don't even, don't, don't even look at this one, okay? All right, with that said, um, yeah, I hope that is helpful. As always, thank you for, oh, this is very masculine, just in case. If you're a lady that enjoyed the masculine, yeah, that's for you. All right, I hope that is helpful. As always, thank you so much for watching. Wait, um... Did I miss something? Well, if I thought about, I'll put it in the comments. It's something that's down in my head, but since I'm one take Dave, I I'm not going to, um, wait, give me a second. Let me pause. I think I'm missing something. Yeah, I remember the longevity. <laughs> I mentioned about the longevity. Even though this is a darker sense, but I think it's because it's a cheapy, so it's not going to last that long, maybe half a day. For sure, half a day is good. Uh, you're talking about three or four hours. Yeah, three or four hours for that. So, 
as far as it does smell i forgot to mention woody woody it does smell a little bit woodsy afterwards so when you dry down yeah other than incense you smell a little bit of the wood coming through woody woodsy notes okay probably the lighter type of wood maybe cedar wood okay all right with that said see you next time